Hi guys, a very good morning. Maksena no tatiri gaiti mbo wiri rena pa nichi mwichini. Let us agree that Mnangagwa's government is out of order. Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is out of order. Then, they are out of order. Lighthouse Zimbabwe says, General principles of democratic elections, subject to this constitution and this act, every election shall be conducted in a the way in in a way that is consistent with the following principles a the authority to govern derives from the will of the people demonstrated through elections nothing else authority yekunzi unzi ndiwo mtungamiri wenyika yekunzi ndiwo uri kumiririra mavanhu sa mp yekunzi uri kumiririra vanhu sa councillor comes from the people and it is demonstrated through elections. Kana ukaita cohesion, no matter how much you call yourself a leader, you are not a leader. If you force people, no matter how much you call yourself a leader, you are not a leader. If you impose your, yourself on the people, no matter how much you call yourself a leader, you are not a leader. You will try and try and try. But you remain in a, a, a non-entity. You remain not a leader. That is the honest truth. That is what the Constitution says. So, Avava Nava Zavar Kuti Trava, Vano Kangano Kuti. Constitution is clear. It clearly says any law which is inconsistent with the Constitution itself is not a law. Zese zuma amendi bintu zava na itava chuya na zoezo. Ai tanga tine a functional judicial service, tine a functional judiciary, tine a functional attorney general. All these laws would be tested and would be revoked because they are inconsistent with the law. How can you give somebody freedom of speech and then using a particular law? You, 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 a statutory law, you take away that freedom of speech. It's unlawful. The Constitution says clearly indicates that any citizen must be able to contest, must be able to vote. That has been violated. It's clear. Any citizen must be allowed to face justice in an equal manner. Job Sikala is languishing in prison. It seems as if the law only applies to ZANPF people, Vanam Fumira. It seems as if some elements are untouchable, Vanapashon Java, Vanayubet Angel, they are untouchable. If it is an opposition person accused of anything, and convey it with how they operate you understand so the plight of the people of Zimbabwe this kind of life we are living is not the kind of life we wish to live I know some of the elements within Vene will call these words treacherous. They will give us names. They will even target us. They will even try to humiliate us, try to, 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 to murder us. But the bottom line is, where are we going as a nation if we continue in this path? We are going nowhere. We have to agree. We have to sit down and agree that our Vene have failed this country. That they are destroying this country. They have, they have killed generations. I go to my rural school each and every day. Um, my heart bleeds. When I see kids passing through my house going to school, my heart bleeds. Because I know the outcome of the education they are going to acquire. It's nothing. It will not take them anyway. That pains me. Because I have seen this pain uh, of looking for a place to go, number one, for Form 1. When you have failed, 
you are seeking a place to go to form one and they will tell you it's no gumapa twenty. You go to 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 A level, you are told Trukudama Air Cut. You go to United you to University of Zimbabwe and you are told Trikuda my points are cut. That excludes my people. It means my people will never be lawyers. It means my people will never be doctors. It means my people will never be engineers. It means my people will never have powerful education. At the end of the day, they will be in the dustbins. They will continue to work uh, on, on those useless jobs. While Stivana Vevene will be occupying very important jobs in this nation. The question is, Takambo nyato tazi ise nyika. Takambo pare ise nyika. Those are the questions. If I look at the health system, my heart bleeds. Because there is no ambulance. You have to hire uh, uh, something for you to be able to go to, 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 to hospital. That is not the kind of life we, 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 we deserve. That is not the kind of life we, we want. Hospitals, if you go there, you have to pay. Hospitals, if you go, everything, you have to pay. It's expensive. There are no medications. The doctors are not happy. Nurses are not happy. All these things we do not care because they don't use the same facilities. And they get out of Zimbabwe. This is the kind of way and they are imposing themselves on us. Instead of them fixing the healthcare, instead of them fixing the education sector, instead of them providing clean, safe water, instead of them uh, making sure that they provide projects for, 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 for young people, instead of them to make the financial sector sound so that everybody can be part of the economic uh, spectrum, they don't do that. They will come and impose themselves. But they forget that the authority to govern derives from the will of the people demonstrated through elections.